The Sacramento Kings have signed Matthew Dellavedova to a one-year contract, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm really confused about this because in his last year in the league with the Cavaliers, which was in the 2020-2021 season, he wasn't great at all. And he had a severe concussion, which made him miss most of the season. He hasn't really averaged a lot of points at any point in his career at all. Known to be like a scrappy, defensive-minded player that'll get up there and hustle. But he's just, he doesn't really put the ball in the basket. He can't really shoot the three. And just all around isn't like a starter level NBA player. And for the Sacramento Kings, it makes zero sense whatsoever in my mind for them to sign him. They have a tricky starting lineup to figure out already with having multiple players that could definitely start. Are you starting Malik Monk? Are you starting De'Aaron Fox? Which you're probably starting De'Aaron Fox, no doubt. Are you starting Davion Mitchell? You're probably starting him. So then Malik Monk's probably on the bench. You also have uh, Terrence Davis. You also have Kevin Herter. And I'm probably forgetting another guard. Like, they have a lot, a lot of guards. Too many to play. I don't know what they're really thinking with their roster. They also have um, a tough situation with their big men. Like, are they starting three guards and then uh in the in the big men the four and the five is it going to be Sabonis and what's his name um Sabonis and Keegan Murray at the four or is it going to be Sabonis at the four and Rashawn Holmes at the five which I don't know if I like that very much they got a tough situation down in Sacramento and I don't really like their team that much at all um they have just too weird of a team and Della Vadova does not help this. I am so shocked he made his way back into the NBA. I thought his NBA career was over for sure, uh, especially when he had dunked on horribly when he was playing overseas back in Australia. Uh, good for him for making it back into the league. I cannot believe he made it. This is super unexpected. I heard that the Kings were working him out probably about a month or two ago, but they actually ended up signing him to a one-year deal. Now, I don't think this is an Exhibit 10 contract because I have not seen that anywhere. So this is like a straight-up one-year deal. I, it better be not guaranteed because this he's not going to find playing time. This dude's not going to play. I don't know who's going to be like – what coach out there would be like, well, you know, throw Della Vadova in the game. He's going to help us. Uh-uh. Terrence Davis is going to help more. Malik Monk's going to help more. De'Aaron Fox is going to help more. And so is Kevin Herter, and so is Davian Mitchell. That's at least five guards I put in the game before Matthew Delvedova. Plus, they didn't re-sign Jeremy Lamb. I believe he's still a free agent. I'd play him over Delvedova, as well as Josh Jackson. I'd play him over Delvedova, and he, they haven't re-signed him either. So, I don't know what the Kings were doing. Let me know if you guys think this is a good signing. I just don't, and I feel like there's going to be one person in the comments that's like, oh, actually, it was a good signing because of this, this, and this. I disagree completely. I cannot see it. He doesn't put up a lot of steals. I know someone's going to be like, oh, his defense. He just doesn't even average like a steal per game. He is a dirty player that not a lot of players like playing against. I just think it was a bad move by the Kings. They're not going to be competitive next year, um, or at least not any more competitive than they were this year. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's try to hit 5,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.